Hello and welcome to this week's Saturday Evening Cocktail and we're doing another one with a heavy heart. We lost Charlie Watts this week, the legendary drummer for the Rolling Stones. And you know, the man, he was the adult in the room for that band. He was the metronome. The man was the perfect drummer for that band. He played, as they said, exactly what was needed. No more, no less. He was an ironically quiet man for a rock band of that status. He was a family man and he was for all intents and purposes, a really good man. And the more I hear about him, the more I read about him, and um, just about his life as it's been celebrated this week, uh, you know, just, it seems like just one of the great uh, personalities in rock and roll for just what he was and how quiet he was and just how appreciative he was for his station in life. And really, sort of the jazz drummer in the legendary rock band. And there's some great stories out there just about how excited he was to meet other jazz musicians when he was on the road and touring and all that. And so I'm trying to come up with just a cocktail to, to you know, pay tribute and think about that. And you know, I, I stumbled on a while ago what they call the New Orleans Mule. And so, you know, maybe for a guy who likes jazz, we're gonna do sort of a, a take on that. I don't remember the recipe exactly, but it was a bourbon-based drink and we're gonna work off of that. Uh, we're gonna work off of that today. So I got my shaker and we're just kind of winging it. I don't really have a plan today. Um, just, uh, Thinking about Charlie, and uh, let's see what we can come up with. And why don't we do two ounces of bourbon? We'll make this a nice bourbon based drink here. Two ounces into the shaker. And let's do sweeten it and uh, give it a little bit more kick with maybe an ounce of rum right into the shaker. And I don't know, seemed like he would, uh, he'd be the kind of guy to enjoy a little Kahlua every now and then. Actually, you know, he was away from the whole hard partying lifestyle. If I'm not mistaken, he's, he was married 50 years. Of course, condolences to his family. Um, I don't know, seemed like he'd be the kind of fellow who'd enjoy a, a Kahlua and whatnot. Uh, maybe an ounce and a half of Kahlua we'll put in. And um, let's see what we can add to um, flavor it up a little bit. Um, I got some of that Demerara syrup, so a nice... Uh, two to one syrup, and let's do an ounce of that. I'm gonna make about two servings of this drink here, and uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit of juice, a little bit of citrus to it. And we'll see what this what happens here. Maybe two ounces of pineapple juice, and uh, let's say the juice of let's say half a lime, and we'll squeeze that right into the shaker. So there's going to be a mix of flavors in here, some sweet, uh, some citrusy, and I got a shaker full of ice. Let's mix it, see what we can come up with. Let's see. Smells good. And let's strain it into a glass of ice. Put about half of that in there, and we'll top it off with some ginger beer. And let's see, do I have a spoon, got a spoon right here? Just give it a quick stir and mix it together. Cheers. Yeah, that's not bad. Nice mix of flavors in there. And put it all together. Yeah, if you can mix this one up at home, not too bad. Everybody take care. Take care of each other. Call the people you love. Wear your mask. Talk to your doctor about the vaccine, about getting the shot if you haven't gotten it already, about getting the booster. And um, yeah, I might have a few of these and I'm going to go. And once the kids are in bed, I'm going to listen to Exile on Main Street a few times till I fall asleep. Charlie, we're thinking of you joining that big, that big band up in heaven. Take care of yourself, everybody. Cheers.